Hey guys, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 34 of the official Mega Aquarium video blog. Okay, so we're looking at that uh, time-tested screen of a empty aquarium. One day, guys, one day I won't have to start with an empty aquarium. Uh, okay, so today I am showing you a revamped research system. Uh, to be honest, it's not complete. This is what I'm going to call phase one of the new research system. Uh, more than anything, it's kind of a UI de redesign, but it's part. It's the first part of a multi-tiered strategic plan for the research system, which uh, I think is going to make it better. So here's how it works. Okay, notice we have no points uh, down here at the moment. Um, oh no, first thing, look, UI redesign. Okay, so every object in the game used to have a little... Uh, thing which you hovered over uh, and then it would come up with a load of info on the right now I've replaced that uh, to condense things down and to make it more compatible with the new research system uh, we now have it all shown in this one uh, piece of UI which is the same all the way across the game okay and the way it works is you have name in the top left you have cost in the top right and you have your picture and then you have these little um, I don't know what to call them, icon stats, which can be different for the different things. So, for example, for a filter, you have mechanical filtration and biological filtration, and you can now hover over them, which is pretty cool from a uh, user experience point of view or, you know, just UI point of uh, view. It's quite useful having this ability to be able to add additional information on the on hover, and we couldn't do that when the on hover was already being taken up by a big info panel here. So, uh, you yeah, know, just go back a video or two and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about there. So I think this is a big improvement on that. Um, so, and, and what's also nice is you, you get to compare multiple things without having to hover over them. So once we've got multiple filters, you'll be able to look at all the different filters and it will have their main stats right here. You know, you have the cost and, you know, for example, the filtration, uh, and there'll be a load more stats coming. Uh, you'll be able to compare them all and then, you know, here's the capacity of the, uh, the flake dispenser, uh, among other things. I've also added some fancy little animations. Look, when you hover over the staff door, doo -doo, it does an animation. And... This goes for the fish as well. So uh, when you hover over the fish, you get a little animation. Ooh, how cute. Uh, and you get these again. You get the stats here to uh, kind of front and center. Cost free. It gives you one ecology point, size two, and it eats omnivore flakes. Uh, okay, I could go on about so much different stuff, but I'm going to keep pushing forwards. Uh, so this is a basic tank. You'll be familiar with this, but it's now, I think, so much clearer to understand what it does. It's... It's got a capacity of 10 and you actually just see that right on it now rather than we had all this information and it was so easy to get lost and i'm not even going to bother neatening those up even though my inner ocd uh child wants to uh wants to neaten them up but i'm going to push against it um i've added a couple of uh animals uh, these things oh even these little things these likes and these dislikes those are being replaced by these little stat icons they're not haven't changed yet but they will be so the whole thing is getting uh kind of just uh made lo much more consistent I'm, I'm amalgamating everything into into this nice consistent thing which is just these little stat icons um so that'll be helpful too so you won't have to kind of read lots of text anymore um for example these two you know likes no aggressive tank mates dislikes no decorations those things if i choose to keep those particular ones uh for the this particular animal this particular fish uh those will be represented by little icons um and where necessary numbers uh talking of whether i choose to have that i might not uh i might not i'm going to do a big redesign over the next coming weeks uh so everything is in flux um Okay, so this is what happens when someone experiences one of your tanks that has some sort of point income. A window comes up and says ecology research. So I mentioned I've redesigned the ecology, sorry, I've redesigned the research system. So uh, this is it. Basically, the way it works now is instead of you building up a pool of points, you um, choose civilization style, what you want to research, and then over time, that will be unlocked. So, do you remember last week I said that it's now it's going to be impossible just to build up loads and loads of points? Well, that's why, because as soon as you finish researching something, you'll be asked what you want to research next. And part of you might kind of think, oh, that's... Uh, 
that's just like a, a kind of small change. It's not really, you know, it's, it's kind of equivalent of just letting us research whatever we want. But I think it's going to be quite significant because I think it's going to kind of keep, it's going to keep you thinking, oh, like what, it's going to keep you thinking, well, what can I use this thing I've just unlocked for next and what new things are available down the line. Um, and it also introduces a little bit of a kind of a tech tree element. So, you know, you don't have access to unlock anything from the very beginning. Um, and so, you know, while I still have the option a little bit to push out, if I want to, I can go straight for this yellow tank, okay, which costs 250 in ecology, or I can go for this one, which costs 30. Um, you're not kind of, um, what's the word, overwhelmed by the, having every single animal available from the word go in your in uh, on the storefront i'm thinking oh maybe i should just save up all the way uh for that really fancy shark um but don't fear the strategists out there you will still be able to there will still be ways you can influence what comes up in your ecology research um more on that later because it's not in the game now but so don't worry, it's still going to be strategic. Don't think this I'm, I'm taking away from the strategy. If anything, I'm adding more strategy because there's now actions you can take to influence what appears in here. But um, I do think this is a, a step in the right direction because I'll be honest, I just didn't feel very good having that menu with just loads of stuff in it and, you know, oh, what should I unlock? And you kept building up all these points and I could unlock all these things. And you, you ended up kind of unlocking things in bursts and I didn't really want to do that. I want you to kind of click. Okay. Let's go for the half and half chromis because that gets us some science points. Uh, eats the same thing. You guys are familiar with this this one. You know what? Let's just. Uh, uh, what do I need to do? Uh, yeah, I've got no facilities yet because I haven't unlocked them yet. But I do have access to this. Let's hire. F I don't know. Mm, Dante, you're cheap. Um, and yes, I know there's always the same staff available. Don't worry, there'll be lots and lots of different staff available. This is just, uh, you know, not. Ah, uh, this is uh, this is this is a good one. This is a really big um, this is a really big change I'm doing right now. It's quite exciting. It really is part of. Oh, I forgot to actually put new decorations in. Whoops. Um, this is. I I feel like I'm really getting close now to something resembling like final game stuff. Like I actually think that this research system, not exact in its exact current form, but something like this is what it's going to be like in the final game which is i'll be honest i've known the other system wasn't going to be for like six months <laughs> so it's quite exciting to start to get some of these almost almost final systems into it um one more thing before we unlock this research this is the research income this is the other cool thing i like about it so this number here, I'll need a tooltip. Uh, th well, this little whole UI, basically, it's got a progress bar showing how close we are to unlocking our next thing. It's got a picture of what we're unlocking. Uh, you can also click on that to get a reminder of what we're going for. And if you want, you can even switch by clicking on one of these, but um, you will lose half of the points you've earned so far. Uh, so you've got to think seriously about that. But here it has the, the total estimated income per day. Um, and this is actually calculated quite cleverly. I'll, ex I'll show you maybe some, some fancy stuff once we get to the end of the day. Um, but the nice thing about having this uh, metric shown to us, unlike before, is we'll get a sense of progression if we manage to increase um, this uh if we manage to increase uh this value over time we'll be able to say hey look i'm now earning four times as much as i used to be uh so oh that's really interesting that is actually a slight bug this because i brought this up again it's now gone to this version when really it should be bring, bringing up the okay that is bugging that is a shame let me just quickly uh hey it's not a uh Oh, 24, I meant 34. It's not a Tim vlog unless we have a bug. Now, I think if I reload the game, this should fix it. Hey, hey, look at that. You see, see, look, I actually went to the bother of making it so you could save in the middle of, a, of something being unlocked and it would be allow you to resume correctly. Uh, that is the effort I've gone to. Unfortunately, I haven't actually made it so it just works normally <laughs> without the need to save. No, I'm kidding. It does work normally. It's because I had a little open it, opened it up, and I kind of uh, I changed the state of the research window, which got it confused. So look, we've unlocked this now. So we can pick up a new research. Um, and now look, a new thing has appeared. Okay, so we've got the same three as we had before. And if we had picked, save a Tang last time, the Tang would have disappeared, but the Krovis would still be there. But something new would have also appeared. So you slowly cycle through these things. And what I'm going to be adding is some extra abilities for how you can control what comes up. 
Now, part of that is going to be about um, basically uh, kind of giving your aquarium a slant towards certain uh, certain types of technologies and certain types of animals which means that they appear earlier but also there's going to be the, the ability to kind of put the fish back into the pond if you like into the back into the sea um, of research topics um, for a small cost of ecology points or whatever point you're currently dealing with you'll be able to basically put it back and uh, it won't it, it's uh, its number will essentially be increased uh, the order it will come out will be increased so it will come out later and something else will take its place earlier so that's the other thing you can do you can sort of kind of skip technology skip and this counts for both animals uh, stuff you unlock with ecology points as well as those you unlock with science points so like I say there's some interesting strategy stuff which I'm going to be adding uh, that give you more control now let's go for the coral grouper I mean, a lot of the time, yeah, you might want to go for the thing that you just that takes the least points, but you've got the option of going for different things. And uh, once we add some more of those interactions between, uh, you know, different animals and different decorations and stuff like that, there might be reasons why you go, oh, I'm going to go for this a little bit early because it has this positive interaction with something else you already have access to. Um, so really what I'm showing you here is the new research system. I'm not showing you a lot of new content. So I know people have been watching the vlog for a while. A lot of what you're seeing is going to be the same sort of stuff. But it was important for me to get this new system in. Uh, you have to get the system in first and then you develop the content. Because it's, it's quite often a new system will invalidate all of your past content. For example, you might have noticed we don't have traits anymore. Do you remember colourful and hardy and greedy and all these traits? Well, those are being replaced again by these little uh, these stats that are attached to each of the uh, the objects. Um, and the way they interact now is is again being reset. So it, it would have been a waste of time if I'd spent too long, uh, you know, doing those for like kind of 30 different animals and 30 different other objects, and then I had to redo it when I redesigned the uh, research system. So this is what I wanted to show you, though. Pause the game. We've just done a new day. Now this income is being worked out. This is daily income, not income so far in the entire game. Um, and this is being worked out by the number of guests that have experienced each of our tanks times by the current point value. So here's the current point value. They're both worth two. And that's because these, uh, sorry, two science, two ecology. And that's because these guys have grown up. Um, they're now, <laughs> okay, this is the old, you see these still have the old UI here. They still have this colorful and hardy stuff, uh, which does actually have an impact in fairness. But, um, I uh, I will be taking those fully out. Uh, you see they're no longer in the menu system. And, and that was because there just isn't space to show those bars here anymore. Um, uh, so, you know, they had to go. Uh, anyway, the point is, if we update the total point value of these tanks, it will live update um, the incomes we have here. So, for example, if we add a uh, half and a half chromis to this tank here, you'll see that this will increase straight away. Now, this might not seem like a big deal but right uh, right now, but what's cool about this is it means that if you're experimenting with different combos, different combinations of uh, decorations and animals, you'll be able to see kind of live uh, the, check, the impact it has on your income, uh, which I think is quite cool, rather than having to wait until the end of the day to see that effect. Now, soon we should um, get our first science point. There we go. And now... We have access to some stuff to unlock with science. So should we go for wall tanks, uh, which have a higher capacity? You'll see this has a capacity of 12 rather than 10 uh, for this default size. Obviously, they can be stretched to different sizes. We can go for a more powerful filter. We go for our first facility, the bench, or the second facility, the drink, uh, drinks machine. Um, I think the wall tank is probably going to be the most useful thing. Uh, maybe we could go for bench. It's interesting, though. We could stick... So here we get some nice choices. We could go for the bench, right? And this encourages us to stick with uh, normal, these sorts of tanks for a little bit longer, you know? Like, what if we put a couple of these tanks along the other edge and maybe dragged out a big one in the middle? Should probably get some filters. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's game it, you know? Um, and now, I don't know, like, with this new system, I'm kind of excited about, like, just kind of going for it and going for some, like, lots of points. Now, what's cool about the, the Chromis is they give you one science and one ecology by default before they're grown up. So you can kind of, like, front load your uh, your income. Of course, they are going to cost... They do need to eat a lot of food, so we'd better get another thing. Let's hope to see if everybody gets fed. Oh, yeah, lack of decorations. Good, got some more park rating, excellent, so 
guest rate is going to increase. And there's no way of unlocking decorations yet. I haven't put those in the game yet. Um, I haven't kind of re-put them into the, the unlock system. But uh, decorations will also be unlocked with ecology points. So you're going to have to choose. Do you want to go for lots and lots of different animals? You, are you going to kind of go for really high quality displays where you're going to be comboing the, the right decorations or the you know nice nice selections of decorations with nice animals? So you're getting a high point margin per animal? Or are you just going to go for lots of different animals and go for just you know high point you know, animals that are just worth a lot of points in, the, in, in themselves. You know, you can take that, make that choice. Uh, so we've got this. Should we go for the clownfish? Black bar soldierfish. Let's go black bar soldierfish. They eat mussels as well. That sounds like fun. Let's slow things down. Now, uh, maybe we could put some of these guys in. We've unlocked the bench. This is cool. Um, maybe now we should go for the wall tank. No one's tired yet, but soon is when we might want to think about putting some benches down um, anyway so um, got our wall tank excellent um, let's go for the vending machine here we go someone's got tired so that way I'm quite glad that we went for the um, for the bench let's drag this out so whoops Oh, not enough money. So everything I've said previously still stands. You know, there's a lot of new stuff that I'm still um, planning to put in the game. Um, put the bench there. Um, and I'm not happy with necessarily all these mechanics. Uh, so, you know, the idea of putting this new research system isn't... You know, this doesn't fix a lot of the existing mechanics in the game. Um, what it does do is uh, it puts me in a place where I'm, I'm happier with this system. Um, for kind of moving forward um, and I think you know now I've got this system in place and I've got this new UI update in place uh, I can I can now kind of do another redesign of other things um, without fearing that I'm just gonna have to redesign them again and rebalance them all again okay some people weren't fed so we probably need to look into oh here's another thing you can now dismiss the day summary maybe look at getting a hiring a second person um, you know I could do some zoning and that sort of stuff and then I can bring my day summary back up again to look at the feedback again so I can adjust over time I don't have to kind of like squidge this in the corner uh, I can keep referring back to it while I update things did I uh yeah, did I can't remember I showed you I think I talked to you guys about this last time this idea of yeah the unhappy guests decreases your rating so that's just an example of it there um, cool so i think that's it for uh, about it for this episode um hmm. just looking at my little list here see if there's anything else i wanted to talk about um oh yeah no that was it yeah no no i think i've talked about everything actually so um yeah i think that's about it for this episode uh and in the coming weeks, uh, you'll see a couple of new systems, and obviously I'll start to firm up this research thing, but we are definitely approaching a time where I'm going to um, basically design a load of new content, put it in the game, um, and actually do another one of my full game playthroughs, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm actually really happy with the additions since last time. Um, and I think this, this, this new research system uh, has a lot going for it, and uh, I think it's the... Um, yeah, it's going to be a really nice foundation for everything else we're going to be putting in. So, on that note, uh, I will say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.